Firstly, they need a few items to start their plan to turn Bilak into an ancient craftsman. One is a legacy weapon, as she needs to study it and learn how to make one. The other is a magic operations unit, which the bunny simply can't help but mispronounce. So, Sun Raku goes to the storage space and gets a sword from there for Bilak. However, as she is ready to hammer and break it apart, the player stops her. All weapons from Inventorio belong to him, Pensilgan, and Katso, thus, he must confirm with them before. They decide to go after the other item now because of that. Bilak takes out a pretty detailed map that shows where they need to go and everything they need to do. To Sun Raku's surprise, they will go through the Lightless Barrens, where he must get items for Vash. As it aligns with his other mission, he gets very excited. However, it's a very long path, so he needs a way to hide the two bunnies. Suddenly, Bilak takes out her bandages and grows a lot of fur. At the same time, she and Imol jump on him, forming a ridiculous fur coat and scarf. Even though it's a terrible disguise, he doesn't have the strength to argue. After he sets his respawn point in Rabatuza's palace, he goes to a new city, Forfolkshire. He gets cleric and holy items for the bunnies as they are going to an area with a dangerous miasma, the Canyon of Ancient Souls. The place also has many undead creatures and a completely different environment. Fortunately, the miasma doesn't affect Sun Raku because of Lycagon's mark on him. As they further into the area, a wyvern zombie appears. However, he also doesn't get close to them because of the mark, any enemy weaker than the player runs away from him. Still, a Dullahan appears and draws his sword to fight them. Even though that means he is stronger than Sun Raku, he doesn't feel nervous. His battle against Witherman already was a fight against the ultimate mounted warrior. Also, he wants a chance to test out his new skills. His moon reflection is far stronger, easily taking the warrior off his horse. Bilak takes the chance to hammer him and send the enemy flying very far. Sun Raku is also more agile and has skills that help that, so he gets to the Dullahan quickly and strikes him. He also uses a combination attack with a mole, in which she uses magic edge while attached to his arm, he calls that rabbit gun. Bilak's hammer starts producing fire and she strikes the Dullahan and his horse, defeating both enemies. They earn his sword, which she says she can restore to its previous glory. As they leave the place, a giant silhouette appears near them. The Episode Review As things calm down after the battle against Witherman, we get more development in other areas. Rabatuza has a big cast and we don't know a lot about most of them, so it's good to focus on Bilak a little. Also, it's great that the anime connects this mission with the one Vash gave before. That makes things more engaging, as it feels even more important for Sun Raku now. However, you can really feel the plot slow down. It's interesting to see new areas and Bilak acting, but the new skills aren't so interesting, and neither are the monsters. At least, Shangri-La Frontier can make everything incredibly funny, like the rabbit's disguises. That's definitely one of its biggest strengths.